Hi guys. Yeah, in the vice we've got a Fasner F310. It's a it's a barbless nymph hook. It's a kind of all purpose, I would say. Uh, it's uh, it's, a, it's a nice hook, nice strong hooks. Uh, if you're if you're barbless, uh, thread I'm going to be using is just a, a black. It's a it's a sheer. Uh, I think it's fourteen o. Just a standard black thread. Start to dye the hook. Work our way down. Just past, just past the point. I'm going to get some black cork cackles. You can use hen hackles, doesn't matter. As long as it's black. Not too many. I don't like it. I don't like the, the tails too bushy. Pretty much, pretty much the length of the body. A lot of people would think that's not enough of a tail, but that's that's the way I like it. That's exactly how I like it. Trim that off. Next, we're going to come in with our organza. This is a black one, pre-cut by myself. Again, this is another thing I sell in the shop. Pre-cut takes all the hassle out of it. I've got five or six different colours. Just catch that in at the end. Work my way up now. And back. Just giving it a nice kind of even body. Because you're going to be winding on some tinsel in a minute. This is a black micro tinsel. Uh, 0.3 mil. This is another thing I sell in my shop. This is actually really nice stuff. It's a holographic tinsel. I don't know how well you can see in there. Just in certain lights. It really catches the eye and it's... This stuff's quite hard to get, so uh, yeah. Again, I, I sell this in my shop, but there's not too much of a left. And uh, as I say, it's it's one of these things that's getting harder and harder to to get for some reason. Okay, now some people would put on put on a layer of varnish. Now you can do that. But I prefer to put the I prefer to put the tinsel down first. And this, the way we're tying this fly, you don't need a perfect layer. So it doesn't need to be I'll just show you how messy it can be. I'm gonna go out my way to make it look messier than it needs to be here, but it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be tidy. It makes absolutely no difference to the fish. Okay, let's go back and forward, back and forward. If it takes you three or four times, it takes you three or four times. This is just going to hopefully give the just give a wee glint to the to the fly because it the organza is going over the top of this so. You're not really going to see it that much, but in the water it's just going to give off that little that little sparkle, that little bit of shine. Sometimes that's what makes a difference. So what I would do now is I'd just apply a wee tiny bit of varnish onto this. Not too much, you don't want to gunk it up. Because when the the organza ribbon goes on, it, uh, it, it doesn't tend to slide too much. Uh, just tap that down because it you just want to make it kind of tacky, something tacky that's, again, people use super glue and all sorts of it. Never found it makes a, a job of a difference, to be honest. Uh, and just like a, just like a hackle, you want to wind your organza. You don't want it to be touching turns. You want it to be nice, nice gaps in there. Again, I've cut this to probably about five or six mil uh, long. 
Can you probably get seven or eight tons of that? No, probably get one more in there. Yeah, oh, one more. Not this is. Now you could leave this just like that. That would uh, that would catch you fish. To be honest, the organs are. Uh, stuff's really good. I've, I've fished it just with a four or five tons of organza, nothing else, no tail, no rip, no underbody, nothing. And uh, it still catches you fish. It's it's a really it's a really versatile material. Uh, so what I'll do is just for this video I'll just what finish that. And then what I like to do is I like to have these wee all different coloured heads. So uh, just a wee bit of in there. So you want to break out your globe right. Uh, this is one of my favourite ones, it's the, the 11 uh, fluoro yellow or chartreuse, whatever colour what you like. You can do it with red or orange or literally any colour uh, you can think of, but it's really just putting a wee kind of, a wee kind of target for the fish. I, I, I like a wee whether it's a wee butt or a wee head, it just it just seems to make it so much more effective. And literally that's all you need. You don't need to be going over it and over it. That's all you need. Half a dozen tons. And then whip finish it. That's a lot. And you see what I mean about the tail? doesn't need to be big because it, it it's not necessary when you're using this organza. It's it's really just to have something there. It's a wee bit it's just a wee bit of movement. Whether it makes a difference or not, I, I'm not too sure. I think you could probably you could probably fish it without the tail and you would catch just as many fish. Uh, a wee coat of varnish. Some people use you can use a, a resin or I like the varnishes still. Uh, because when I'm tying these up, I normally tie them in quite big batches. So uh, the, the resin doesn't really save me that much time, to be honest. So, so you know, if I'm tying 10 flies, by the time you've varnished the first couple, uh, you're kind of you're kind of working around in a, a big cycle. So the, the varnish is, is fine. It's clear the eye of the hook. Always very important. It's got a feather or a, a dubbing needle. Do the trick. And that's it. I don't know what you would call it. Some people call it a, just an organza buzzer, organza nymph. Uh, call it what you like. It's it's very very effective, and uh, yeah, I've I've done very well with that. Between between the the Globrite eleven and uh, let's see if I can get the actually just. just my feet. Uh, I think this is a four. That's that's the four there. That's a very nice colour. Uh, probably the most popular colours is the, is the four and the eleven. Uh, the the twelve, the, the green as well. That's that's very effective. But I, I, as I say, I, I tie these up in batches and uh, all different colours. And quite often I'll, I'll fish a team. You know, I'll fish you know a, a, a yellow one in the point. Uh, if I'm fishing three flies, a yellow one in the point, a, a, an orange one maybe in the dropper, and uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a pink one or something. And uh, it just, it's just a case of mixing it up. And you, you will find certain days you'll catch all your fish on one of the colours. And whether it's the depth that it's fishing at, or whether it's the actual colour, uh, I, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's always good to have the, the different colours in your armoury because. The fish can be funny, and, and depending on what they're feeding on, it, it makes a big, big difference having having these different colours. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, and we'll be back uh, next time for some more. So tight lines, all the best. Hi guys, uh, had a wee look back in that video uh, I done for the black organza. Uh, nymph quality wasn't that great so I'm going to do another quick one uh, just now slightly different slightly different hook uh, in the vice we've got a check nymph hook it's a it's a fully mill 
barbless. It's an FM 50, 65, I think, size 14. The uh, thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread, red, 8 Normally I would use the, the UTC 70, but I don't seem to be able to find it. I've, I've got the 140 there, but that's a wee bit thick for this uh, this fly, so we'll, we'll go with the uni thread. So just to lay down a quick layup. that away. This is just a quick video just to hopefully slightly better quality and just to show you the different things we can do with the organza in different colours. This is a it's a, a kind of dark deep red so almost like a burgundy colour. I do it in uh, slightly brighter colours as well but or slightly brighter red but this is uh, this is a nice kind of burgundy colour. Just nick away the end and just catch it in. And then we've got some of our surprise surprise, our micro rib, micro tinsel. This is uh, magenta. It's a really nice colour. Let's catch that in. Again, this is nothing, nothing fancy at all. This is a really good fly for Somebody's just starting out. Two or three materials, nothing to worry about. Really, really simple and effective. You know, you'll, you'll catch fish in it, which uh, is what we're all about. So, we'll just run the tinsel down the shank. Again, this is just to give a wee glint through the through the organza. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just to uh, just to give it a wee, a wee glint, a wee sparkle. Catch that in. Again, same as before, we touch a varnish. Not too much, just to make it tacky enough for the for the organza rub, just to just so it doesn't slide. It's it's not too bad, but when the when it's going to top of a, a rub or a tinsel, I should say, uh, it can sometimes sometimes slide. And then like before, not touching turns, nice gaps. Probably four or five tons of this, and this is a only a size fourteen hook. It's maybe five or six tons. Another one for luck. That way, and you could just leave it like that, that would catch your fish all day long. But just like before, we'll whip finish and we'll come in with a come in with a glow bright. What will we do? We'll go for a go for a number nine. This is something I don't use an awful lot. It's like a I don't know what you call it, a kind of mustard colour. Quite nice. I think it'll go nice with the red. And uh, again, it's just to give a wee, just a wee hot spot. Five or six tons of that. Trim that away. Let finish. And that's us. Simple as that. Varnish. Grab a feather or something you've got lying about your desk. Clear the eye out. That's lovely. So again, that's uh, just something else you can do with the the organza. Uh, it's a really, really versatile material, and it's perfect. 
really perfect for for somebody that's just learning to tie. Uh, you know, it, it it gives you the it gives you a wee bit of experience tying similar to you you would tie with a hackle. Uh, and it's such a simple, such a simple uh, material to tie with. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that and uh, join me next time. Thanks.